Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Bray Torn, and welcome back to Heart to Arm 4 in our United States versus World Communism campaign. All right, so before we jump into the episode, uh, just kind of note on your guys' response regarding changing up the German focus tree, moving uh, the requirement uh, that is on here for the 40% support down to here. So it seemed probably about split uh, half and half, maybe slightly in favor uh, of those who would prefer that we did change this up so that Germans could get their uh, research slot here. However, what I said last episode was actually inaccurate. This is not the German fifth research slot. Uh, that's They still have their fifth research slot over here, as they, they always do in the four-year plan branch. Uh, so this is actually a sixth research slot, which actually plays to something I said, I think, in the first episode uh, about the Americans being the only country with the sixth research slot. Uh, it seems that Germans, if they go democratic, they also get a six research slot. So yeah, this would have been their sixth slot, and it really doesn't make sense because frankly, you know, it's for a democratic Germany, and this is not gonna be a democratic Germany. Uh, so I didn't know this was the sixth slot. Uh, with that in mind, I don't really feel like we need to to give this to them, guys. I was, I just completely forgot about the, the one over here. Uh, so that's their fifth research slot. They'll still be able to get that one. Uh, and then we won't change this up. And, and I know some people were kind of against me changing it. So, um, you know, they don't like me changing anything once we start the campaign, which is, is understandable. Uh, so we are uh, not going to do that because uh, yeah, I didn't know that that was the sixth research slot. And again, they're not democratic, so they don't actually need to get that. They'll be communists like everybody else. So we'll be keeping it as is and they will be able to get five research slots. So I did uh, split this army up. You'll notice that all of the reserve divisions, plus one more, we're going to take one more division here, and we'll just take one from over here, and throw them over here as well. Get him moving over to, I think I got him going to LA. We're going to get him going over to our port, and then we're going to move all these divisions. This is going to be our army that's going to garrison our islands, Alaska, and of course, the canal. We're probably going to send uh, two divisions here, and that's the reason why I gave them one of our 40 width divisions because I feel like this is just the Panama Canal is just so important that we have to uh, uh, defend it with a, a full 40 width division. Now I don't know if we'll have supply issues there. We might. We'll take a look once the division gets there and see if they have any supply issues uh, because that's not it's not a very large port but it shouldn't be shouldn't be an issue guys. So I've also named our divisions based on your guys' suggestions. The 40 width division is going to be the big red one, uh, named after the, the the nickname for the first infantry division. Unfortunately, there's not a big one for us to give them, uh, or the their uh, their other insignia that they have. Uh, there's nothing even similar to that one either, uh, which I think is like a lady victory type of thing. So then for the cab divisions, we got the Rough Riders going along with our Roosevelt theme, and then we have the Minutemen for our garrison divisions. The Marines are just going to be the Marines. We could also have named them the Devil Dogs. Somebody suggested that. I kind of like naming the Marines since that's, you know, you know that's what our Marines are called. Uh, so we have uh, the Freedom Machines for the Light Tanks. Uh, so those are your guys' suggestions. We'll have a few more division designs that you guys will be able to name. Obviously the Mountain Troops uh, and the Medium Tanks are the two that come to mind immediately. So we'll have a few more divisions to name. Also, I fixed the fact that I forgot to build the Support Cruiser. So we put them on here kind of reprioritized our dockyards a little bit and did the same thing with the factories as well uh, pull back on the infantry equipment because we are actually uh, i think we have like a 2000 surplus when we really really need more artillery so just kind of change that up and then you notice that we need to trade for some rubber finally so that's an issue uh, we'll trade with the brazilians and let's hope that they don't join our enemies since we're, we've been giving them a few factories in trade. Not that it's not that big of a deal, but. All right, so we, we already know that, you know, all the Dominion countries are gonna be leaving the British uh, under their control no longer. And uh, they should rejoin the allies afterwards if they leave the faction, which I believe they do leave the faction, uh, but they should join back. So I wanted to do the Two Ocean Navy uh, Act, and frankly, I don't know when we're going to be able to do that because of the lack of support. What we might do is go ahead and actually use our political power to to take a decision to get ourselves a little bit of support, guys, because yeah, I'm just waiting on these events to fire in and uh, give it to us, I don't think is the best way to go about doing it. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we're going to do, guys. For now, we'll just, so that we're not wasting time, because I think it takes 45 days, and we could just snack up on political power during that time. Uh, and I suppose that would be helpful since we do need to fill out 
uh, you know, all of our advisors and such, but we got a lot of focuses to get. So what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and go down here so we can start building those close air support and tactical bombers quicker. I think that would be pretty darn useful. So let's go and get the air support and then we'll get this one next, uh, which we'll have to take that decision when we're out halfway through here. Now we could do it now, but I'm worried that an event will just take it from us. So we'll uh, give it about halfway here and we're not quite halfway. Yeah, about 25 days in. That should be about good. And then we'll uh, knock out the decision. So China has now declared war on Communist China. There is a possibility that China, Communist China could end up joining the Allies and, and pulling everybody into this faction, but I think it's, or excuse me, pulling everybody into this war. Uh, but I think that's pretty unlikely. I don't think that's going to happen, guys. Uh, we do have a factory. Let me just see what we need the most. Obviously, artillery is pretty short. Uh, support equipment, anti-tank, and anti-air are also all needing a few more factories, I think, to get this done. But I think the artillery is just in the worst situation. Well, you know what? We only have two factories for these. So you know what? We'll do these ones instead. And then we'll put one factory into anti-air as soon as we get one constructed. So again, we're, we're trying to make one year for each of these videos. And we're done here. Nothing left to get there. Done here as well. Uh, there are a few things that we could be getting here. Obviously, MPs will be needed later. Uh, maintenance companies and logistics are also going to be needed. Haven't gotten any of these yet, uh, so those are going to be needed to be done. Of course, we have all of our uh, our doctrines as well that need to get knocked out. I suppose we could start working on heavy fighters and strategic bombers. Uh, that would be an option, so we can start building those. Factories is an issue, though, so we don't have that many factories to build all these. I think what we're going to do is go ahead and start working on the, the naval doctrines, guys. Although we could go ahead and take a look and see who we're going to get for our theorist to see if uh, you know if, if it would be worth it to, to go for a different doctrine if we're going to get the naval theorist. So our options are, and we do want to get the more expensive ones since they do give an extra 5% reduction for the research cost for those doctrines. So our choices are Bradley, the superior firepower expert, which means we would have to go down the superior firepower because it does... When you go with these 250, it does require that you go down that specific uh, doctrine tree, uh, which that's the one I want to go down anyway. So we're going to go on that. Uh, so we'll, we could go for Bradley. Uh, we could instead do LeMay, and this would be the strategic strategic destruction doctrine, which I don't know that we're going to go down that route. It's a possibility, but yeah, we probably won't get this, this one, guys. Uh, I don't think so. And, and getting air uh, experience is going to be really easy for us because of our naval bombers uh, that are going to be bombing their ships. Should be pretty easy to get air experience. And then we have the naval aviation uh, pioneer, which is the base strike doctor, which is the one we wanted to go for. And I suppose it would make sense uh, to get that one. The only problem I have with the naval experience, the, you know, when you get the experience for the Navy, is there's really not much to do once you have all of our ships designed. And frankly, you know, just from doing missions and training, you can get Navy experience pretty easily. So the experience here would probably be a little bit better. Uh, but I think we might go with, uh, you know what, I think we will go with Bradley, just because of the experience. You know, either way, we're going down both doctrines. So I think we're going to go with Bradley, get the Army experience, so that we can try and, like, improve our tanks and stuff. Uh, I think that that would be a little bit more useful. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go for Bradley, meaning that we can go ahead and start working on the Naval Doctrines now, since there's not going to be any, uh, there will be research bonuses for him, of course, but those would apply later. Uh, but there won't be that uh, benefit of, of using the, the theorists to, to research these quicker. And let's go ahead and improve the carriers first, because our fleet is very much going to be based on carrier supremacy, trying to get control of the skies and bombing the, the enemy fleets. And uh, we will have to face enemy carriers. Uh, you know, the British have carriers, so we will have to, to face some enemy carriers. So having some sort of advantage there from the Doctrine Tree would be quite helpful. Uh, so we've knocked this out. Uh, that means we'll have to take a look at how many days, 108 days now, to get that done. Uh, so we can get one more, and I think we will, guys. Let's go and knock that out. Again, we got a lot of countries to decrypt, and we want to get them all done before the war. Which, again, we're trying to make a, a year each episode. So here we're, we're going to try and get into 1939. I do not expect that we'll be at war by the end of this episode. Uh, so we got the tactical bombers. Excellent. Let's go ahead and do the... We need to do both of these, heavy fighters and strategic bombers. I suppose we'll start with the, the strategic bombers. Heavy fighters might be something that we do a little bit later, guys, and, kind of, and build them later. Uh, I don't think we'll need them immediately. I think we'll be fine. Uh, so yeah, I think we're going to work on the, the strategic bombers. So we can start getting those built. Uh, let's also go ahead and get those tactical bombers out there. Get those built. 
put them down here. We'll put them right above the, the carrier planes. Speaking of the planes in the Air Force, let's go ahead and do a few things. So we're gonna go ahead and increase the size of both of these. Although we'll actually just duplicate this one here. All right, so that looks good. And then we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves a fighter wing of 200, which we'll have to use some older ones, that's okay. We'll just let these guys fill out on their own. All right, so let's go ahead and make sure that all these guys are training up. And we might have to set these guys again since they hadn't got the experience hit just yet. All right, so the Spanish Civil War is officially over. It's a Stalinist victory in the Spanish Civil War. So at that point, uh, shouldn't have any more problems here in Spain. And I expect that they'll eventually join the Allies. They're set to join, join the common term. They're one of the, the countries that does have a branch that specifically uh, results in them joining the common term. Of course, they won't be able to do that because the Soviets don't have a faction, but that's okay. Uh, again, there were, you know, uh, there were some problems both ways with having the Allies be the, the common term, or being the communist faction and the common term being the communist faction. Either way, we would have had some issues with it, uh, but I think we would have had more issues if the Soviets were the, the primary faction leader. Uh, so let's go ahead and get, I don't know if we have any political advisors that would be worth getting, probably not. No. That'd be helpful because we could build quicker. I don't think it'd be better than the research bonuses right now. So yeah, I don't think we're gonna get that. Uh, oops, my bad. Uh, let's go ahead and instead get one of our design companies. Uh, so I suppose we're gonna go out to the infantry equipment designer. We could also wait for the theorist and just get that 250 political power there. But you know what, let's go and do the infantry. Let's get that knocked out. And then we'll start re researching those with that 15% bonus. Because I don't think we've gotten any of those texts just yet. Uh, we can get another operative now that we have the, the three upgrades. And Kate Price is looking quite skilled. And she has a hat. And she's tough, an infiltrator, and a seducer. So there we go. That's who we're going to get, guys. And as far as you know, what to do with her, again, it's, it's really just building intel networks. We could, of course, have her do counter intel instead. That'd be an option as well. Uh, but let's do this here against the British, or actually, let me change this up. Let's instead do this against the Mexicans. So one thing that might result in us going to war a little bit earlier than I said, because I said it would probably be 1939 at the earliest, and this still may be the case, because this war might take a while. And what do we have here? Oh, we might not need to do that decision. we got another one of these events to build a munitions plant, uh, and I did forget to do that uh, decision, which was going to be the medium lobbying effort. We were supposed to do that so we could get this filled out so I could get that, that focus, and, and I forgot. I bet most of y'all knew I was going to forget. Uh, it would still probably be quicker to do that, I think. It's 45 days than it would be to, to build this, but we're going to do it anyways because, you know, we always need the support. So let's go and do that, and this is in Illinois that they want us to build the factory. Uh, but I don't know. Yeah, they do have space. Okay. I was supposed to say, I don't, I don't know if they have actually any space there to build. Uh, we'll go ahead and take this up the top so we can get that support going. And that means, you know, again, this is just going to take too long uh, for us to get this done. It's going to be the 15th of June. I mean, that's, I guess that's not that bad. That's like two months. That's only like 15 days longer. Yeah, I guess that's only 15 days longer. That's really not that bad. Uh, so I, I suppose we'll, we'll wait and won't take that decision. Uh, we don't have the political power to take the decision anyways, actually, since we just uh, filled out our government. And this gets us 25 more representatives. Still not enough, though, uh, for us to get that focus, unfortunately. Which I think we'll have here in about a day. And, oh, hold up. That's strange. Didn't we tell them to be obedient? I'm pretty sure we did. Oh, no, no, I was going to say, maybe it's because they're, they're a puppet of these guys here, but of the, uh, the communist Japanese, uh, but that is not the case. So they are rebelling. All right, that's interesting because we told them to be obedient, I'm pretty sure, uh, when we when we started this. Or I meant to, at least. I feel confident that I did. All right, well, that does mean that that's going to hurt uh, the fascist faction, which is, I, I suppose, a good thing. Uh, because, you know, they'll conquer their territory here, uh, which, you know, result in them have less factories and resources and stuff, which will help the communists. So that's a good thing. But at the same time, this overall will hurt the communists. Uh, so yeah, it is what it is. I don't I don't know why they did that though. That's kind of strange because we set them to to be obedient. We did get the air support focus again. Can't go this route because I, I messed up there. So we could go ahead and get the escort fighters. 
Uh, so we'll get the, the research bonus for the fighters, which would be the first plane we'd want to get in 1940. Again, that's a ways and ways, so it's really not the best thing to get. Uh, but there's really nothing else other than going down here to get those advisors, which I don't feel like is, is necessary just yet. Uh, so yeah, I think we'll, we'll go ahead and get the escort fighters and just get the research bonus for, you know, whenever we get to, to 1940. All right, so with this decision knocked out, as soon as we have this, uh, I guess we gotta go through here. Uh, as soon as we have this done here, and oh, it's 356. Oh, it's 356 days to get it done. Okay. All right. So as soon as this is done constructing, we'll get that. Uh, we'll get those those representatives that we need, and we'll be able to finally get that damn focus that we've been trying to get for a while now. Uh, so we did get the radar, so we can start building those. That's uh, not a priority. I think that the main reason you know, why we've gotten these texts is to put those on the ships. So we're going to do that now. Uh, the radar, we'll build that a little bit later, guys. Uh, so yeah, still very much in 1938, we have that one text. So let's go ahead and start knocking these out. Uh, we'll get this one first. There are like a ton of vehicles going by tonight. I'll cut all those out because they're kind of loud. Oh yes, we need to go ahead and get these guys assigned and we need to get the ships done. We'll do these guys first. All right, so let's go ahead and just send, I mean, he's called the Atu Island garrison, so we should probably send them to Atu Island. Uh, do we have one that's yeah, Pan the Panama Canal Force? So we could always send them based on their names. We didn't even need to move them over here. Technically, we could have had them train where they're at, but I just felt like it would be easier to to be able to assign them ourselves. But yeah, we'll pick them based on their names for now. Uh, we're going to want two in Alaska. So yeah, we'll probably need some in the Caribbean as well. Yep. Uh, we'll just take these two guys here. Send them on over there. And I suppose this guy could go to Puerto Rico. We will need somebody to defend it. Frankly, this is not going to be enough. This is just kind of the start here, guys. We're going to need more uh, for all of our areas. Uh, we will defend Atu Island. And then, of course, we're going to need some in Hawaii here. Let's see. Yeah, we'll probably want to send them all to their, their islands there. We'll send these two over here, though. So two in Hawaii for now, maybe three actually. Let's do three in Hawaii, obviously don't want to, to lose that. I don't know that we'll defend Phoenix Island uh, just yet, but we will go ahead and defend Midway and Guam as well. And the Philippines. Send these guys over to the capital. Uh, how many do we have left? We have four. Uh, do we want to defend Wake Island? Sure, why not? So we'll defend that. Again, I don't think we'll defend all the islands that we have. This is just uh, too many. They would probably attack here first in Phoenix Island. So maybe we'll go with uh, Phoenix Island, but then with these three here, the, the Lion Islands, we'll just wait. Just wait to defend those. Uh, because I'd like to send a few more to, uh, to the Philippines, guys. I feel like we don't have enough there. All right, so let's go and send one here and you know guys I think we will go ahead and defend this island here and so we'll send him over here though he doesn't want to listen let's try now there we go so we'll send him over there and then he'll take his spot it doesn't really matter if they go where their name is but why not all right uh, so yes the fleet uh, so we need to change these up only build one more we need to put the radar on all of our ships guys uh, except for the, the submarines, of course. Uh, so let's go ahead and start doing that now. And then just kind of uh, create a variant of all these. Uh, so we'll just change up their letter to B and throw the radar on. This is, of course, just radar, radar level one, but it is pretty helpful in getting that surface detection up. Uh, so let's go ahead and save that. Will we have enough experience for this? We should. Uh, we have a lot of variants to change, but we should have enough experience to get this done. Okay, so I got radar added to all of our ship designs, except for this one here and... That's because I want to go ahead and add the fire control. We're not going to do the fire control one for these. We'll just do the zero. Uh, there's no reason for these guys to have depth charges since they can't even attack submarines. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be changed up. So this will be 11 experience. So I felt like I'd show you guys that we were changing that one up uh, a little bit differently than the other ones. But yeah, added radar to all the like cruisers, the battleship, and the carrier. And so we'll build one more of all those. And I suppose what we could do is go ahead and set these up to... Uh, you know, replace these immediately. So that'll just do it itself. Alright, we want the attack cruisers as well. 
I suppose what we'll do is, uh, yeah, just put them right underneath these ones. All right, so we got it all set up here. Got them all set to deploy in San Diego. Uh, and we are ready to go. And we are having some problems with the, the dockyards, of course. Yeah, so a few issues here, but that's that's fine. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. We're building dockyards right now. So yeah, we'll have them all deploy in San Diego. Now, as I had mentioned before, uh, I think the earliest would be 1939, and that would be here in Mexico. When they finish up their civil war, they'll likely nationalize the oil fields, which would then give us the ability to declare war on them. That's going to get something selected here. Uh, I suppose you could do passive defense. That'd make a lot of sense, but we might want to go ahead and do the intel first. I think we're going to go ahead and do the intel first, guys. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do uh, the intelligence upgrades. And we will start with, we'll just start with the economy and civilian. Kind of go from left to right there. Since we know what we're going to, we're going to want to get all of them. Uh, I don't think there's any missions we can do here that we'll actually want to do. Outside of maybe capturing ciphers. We could do that against the Germans. I suppose we could do that. Uh, but yeah, we would have to use both of our agents if we wanted to do that. Uh, can't become a uh, spy master until we are in a faction to get ourselves a third operative. And I don't think we'll be able to get any more additional operatives until we do have our own faction. And then we'd have to get members in, which I don't know if we'll have anybody join. I, I imagine we'll have a few minor powers that will want to join us, especially if they get uh, war declared on them uh, by the communists. And that might let us get a few more operatives, but we're likely not going to have a ton of operatives. Now, of course, we can also get the advisor that would get us another operative as well. Uh, but yeah, what I'm, what I'm thinking, guys, is that when they nationalize the oil fields, that gives us the ability to declare war. So we could attack them to get rid of one of our communist neighbors before they're able to join a faction. That could also result in the war starting, though. Uh, they could end up joining the Allies, and then that would bring the British... And if their dominions are still in the Allies, which they very well might be, uh, as of right now, they all are. Yeah, I don't think anybody's left just yet. So that would bring all of them into the conflict as well. So it's it's an option uh, to declare. I think we will. Uh, I think there's no reason not to. If they join the Allies, then they join the Allies, guys. Uh, so we already have those doctrines going. Uh, we've been making very good progress here through the tech tree. We do need to get uh, mountain troops. We already have the Marines. We're gonna wanna build those eventually. We do wanna get the mountain troops as well. So I said that we weren't gonna go down the strategic destruction uh, path here, but you know what guys, I think we will. Uh, not so much for the strategic bombing bonuses, which we will do some of that. So those bonuses will be helpful. Uh, but more than anything, because it has the best naval efficiency bonus with 15% while the other two just grant you 10%. So yeah, I think that's the sole reason why we're going to go down this route. And it's also very early where you see the uh, the other ones are quite late in the tree. So yeah, I think we will go down this route, guys. 85 days to knock that out because of the research bonus. It's fantastic. Uh, we almost have this done. Did we get... We should have had this almost done, I think. Yeah, we're at the 15th of June. So about another week. And thus, we will have it done before we finish up this focus. And so if we can keep the damn support in here and don't get some events that take it from us, then we should be able to finally do that damn uh, naval focus. All right, excellent. So we did the uh, computing machine. Nothing else for 1938 here or in the industrial text. So I think we might continue down the, the naval doctrines, have a second one going down naval doctrines. And we're going to wait to the army doctrines again. I just don't think it's going to be as important early on here. Uh, so yeah, let's go down the, uh, the naval doctrines with two focuses. Uh, we'll do the... I think we're going to do the, the submarines, man. It's going to be critical to ensure that nobody are, is able to land here in North America. So with the decisions, we can develop some more resources. We'll just say we don't need to be notified of that. It's all something that we'll do a bit later, unless it's like for, for a resource that we really need. Uh, but as of right now, we don't need any of those resources. All right, so we should have gotten, with that military factory being built, uh, we should have gotten that bonus to the uh, support in Congress. Uh, so what do we want to get next? Uh, I suppose we should do more military factories. This will get us uh, 36, uh, 36 dockyards, and plus we'll get a bunch from that one focus. So yeah, I think it's about time to, to do some more military factories. And we'll go here where we have these bonuses in the north, or I guess the Midwest. 
We have 80% bonus there, but I guess you could build uh, dockyards there. So we'll build like four more military factories. I think we're probably good on fuel. Maybe want one more. I mean, we're only at 513,000, but remember, we are getting that penalty from the undisturbed isolation. So we're actually at like 900 something thousand is what we'll build a stockpile once we lose that, once we're able to get that focus. Which I don't really remember where that one was at. I think it's, I think it's right down here. And we won't be able to get that until, again, until we have more support in the Congress, which as of right now, we are not able to get this. Uh, we did finish decrypting the UK, but yeah, we still don't have enough representatives. We're short five, five representatives, guys. Now that does mean that we don't have to go down this one here since we only need five representatives. So we could just do this one. Uh, this would be how long? 30 days. So it's not quite as long. Uh, how long do we have for this? Eight days. So we'd have to spend some time just collecting political powers, both because I really want to get this get this done. And we want to go down that other branch as well, which uh, also requires us to have uh, the same number of, of representatives, I believe. So I suppose it might be worth it to actually go down with the 45 days to go down with the medium one, simply because we're going to need so many. I'm trying to see if there's anything that's a little bit quicker. Uh, the special measures, is this immediately? Yeah, I think this is immediately. What is the penalty? Just 50 political power? Yeah, I think that's the only penalty you're taking here. So yeah, I think we're just gonna go with this one and do it immediately, guys. And and then uh, as soon as this expires here, uh, eight days, as soon as we finish it up is what I mean. And then just go in and get that. Uh, so we are gonna do the rubber processing. We're gonna start building some of those. We'll wait until we actually get it. Well, I guess we can start building now. Might as well. Let's go and get some synthetic refineries, guys. And we'll do them over here and this, with these uh, nice bonuses here. Let's get a couple of those going. Maybe we wanna get more than that, actually since the early ones don't really give a ton of rubber initially. Uh, so now that we finished decrypting the UK, we can go and do, I guess Mexico would be next. Yeah, we'll do Mexico next since we would likely be fighting them. So getting a little bonus would be helpful, I suppose. And it's gonna be really quick as well, comparatively, because uh, you know they're, they're just a minor power. So they don't really have the civilian factories to be getting all those upgrades. All right, excellent. So we'll have this done here in four days, three days. We'll knock out that decision, get the support in Congress that we need to be able to take uh, that one focus. Yeah, because we only need the, the five more representatives. So let's do the special measures. That'll be immediate. We also still need to do this other focus as well. Uh, very, very important one to get here, allowing us to change over to the limited conscription. So a pretty important one to get. I uh, got the land act uh, doctrine bonuses. There's some really good stuff in here. Uh, but we are going to do the Two Ocean Navy Act first. That's 10 dockyards, guys. Really can't beat that. Do you need support for any of the rest of them? No. It's just this initial one. These two initial ones that you need to have the, the support for. So, yeah, we'll do the Two Ocean Navy Act. Get those dockyards. We should still have the support, uh, unless we get some negative events, when we finish this, to do the next one as well. To do that other one I wanted to do. All right, so the outdated equipment here, I think it's just those ships that we're building. Yep, just the ships. All right, so getting those knocked out, we're gonna take a look at if we have any ships here ready to be added, we do. It's just going to keep them training. Uh, so we'll move our fleet around probably next episode, guys, or maybe in between episodes, or we could even wait until the episode after that, because again, if we did go to war with anybody, it would be with Mexico next episode, and you know, obviously that's not a big issue when it comes to the naval war. Uh, it does seem they're almost done with their civil war here. So yeah, I, I do think we might end up going to war with them in the following episode. Let's do the, you know, actually we're gonna do the, the Navy Department first. I said I was gonna do it left to right, but we'll do the Navy Department. Not that it really matters, but. All right, I guess the Army Department would be more useful against Mexico. All right, so what are they wanting? Is this like a, it's definitely not a military factory this time. It says invest in the economy, so I'm assuming it's a civilian factory. Would make him reconsider his stance. And not sure what he wants us to build. I, I'm assuming a civilian factory, I guess it could also be infrastructure. Yeah, I never, I don't think I ever did any of these. Or if we did do them in that communist one, uh, I don't recall. But yeah, we'll go and build it. Uh, might as well. Doesn't take very long to build them. And I think it's it's probably better than trying to use the political power on this. Because you just get so many uh, senators and representatives. And, you know, we can use civilian factories rather than the political power. Which is something that America has a lot of. So yeah, we're going to use the, the civilian factories to get this built. We'll have to look and see what it is that they want us to build, though, because I'm not entirely sure. 
Uh, where is it at? Has it not popped up yet? Here we go. Uh, so we need to build, yes, a civilian factory in Nebraska. Okay, uh, not that we really need uh, civilian factories, of course. Uh, that's like one of the last things we need right now. Because we already have two lines, and that's, you know, even before we remove all those penalties that are reducing our civilian factories. America obviously has a ton of civilian factories. Uh, so we did get the Flying Fortress, the B-17s. And I, well, I was going to say we could wait to get the heavy fighters, but man, this is a, a very nice uh, bonus here. That's a, a pretty good bonus. Is that just for the heavy fighters? Yeah, because I, I thought we were, are we still, let me just take a look here. Yeah, I thought this was for, uh, maybe, okay, so it was for the Lightning Thunderbolts and the Chain Lightning. Okay. I see. I, I was thinking that it was for uh, either fighters, the heavy fighters or the light fighters. I didn't know that. Well, since we got the bonus and we can get it in 39 days, might as well go ahead and research it real quick. We can also go ahead and get those Strategic Bombers starting to build. Throw them up here to the top. We'll just put them right underneath those tactical bombers. Uh, don't really have any factories to build them just yet. Really need to get more factories built. Uh, also, it looks like we're having some more chromium issues, so let's go and continue trading with the Cubans for that. All right. So, doing very, very good on the dockyards. And once we get that focus, you can go ahead and throw 10 more onto that. So that's 45 dockyards, not bad at all. Uh, they did finish up their Civil War, so again, I do expect that they will likely nationalize the oil field soon. And we did get 25 more representatives, fantastic. Uh, so yeah, they'll likely nationalize the oil fields. And when that happens, we get the ability to declare war on them. We might want to, uh, well, we'll, we'll keep them training actually. We do need the army experience. We can make some adjustments to our divisions right now, actually. And can we build troops yet? We can start building troops. They have the infantry equipment. So yeah, we'll start building some troops up here in a minute, guys. Let's go ahead and first get a tech selected, which we will do the improved infantry equipment one. And uh, let's go and build some units. We'll get, uh, I suppose, probably some more big red ones, or we can try and design these tanks since, yeah, I'd like to get some, some tanks going. I uh, don't know that we'll have enough experience to make them good. We do want them to do a 40 width division design. So maybe we want to save this and just do this later. I mean, we're not going to be able to make much adjustments here, guys. Yeah, there's not a whole lot we'll be able to do with them with just 20 experience. So you might want to wait until we can design them a little bit better. And uh, just use the big red ones here in the war against Mexico. I think that'd be fine. We want like a full uh, army of 24 divisions. So let's go and get four of these guys training up. We have so much infantry equipment. We can actually build more. Yeah, I suppose we'll do a few more. Uh, we'll do, uh, we do need to get more Minutemen as well to cover all of our ports located in the Pacific. So we could do that as well. I don't think there's anything else here in the Americas that we need to defend. Yeah, I think it's just those three in the Pacific. If we want to make sure that we have one defending each area, yeah, it's just the Lion Islands. I'm just, I'm just double checking to make sure there's nothing that I missed here. Yeah, I think it's just the Lion Islands, guys. Is the only ones we still have to defend. But we do have the Filipino, uh, the Filipino ports as well that we're not defending. So that'd be one there, and one there. Probably won't defend that one. So like two more there, and then three in the Lion Islands. So let's do five then. We'll do five of these guys. Oops, that's the Marines. Uh, the Marines aren't designed yet. Yeah, we could start building Marines out too. They'll probably be twenty width. Is what I'm thinking. We'll do 20 with Marines. Uh, but yeah, we'll do the, the Minutemen first. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these guys building. We'll do five of them. And we do want to deprioritize them for equipment. Make sure that the troops that are out there on the front with Mexico get the equipment first. All right, excellent. So we're going to get those guys building. It does seem I have these building too many. We just want to build one of those for right now. All right, so we finally got some divisions building. Uh, and then, of course, we are now lacking the infantry equipment. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll get those tanks built out as soon as we get some damn army experience, guys. Yeah, I feel like we need to get a lot more army experience uh, to even try and build those out. We'd only be able to make a couple adjustments to them. Uh, and I mean, I guess we could put like uh, tank divisions out there that just aren't don't have their equipment. Don't actually have to wait for them. So what do we still need here in 1938? 
Uh, we're doing a great job making it through this focus tree, man. All those research bonuses we're getting, uh, prioritizing those research bonuses has uh, really paid off, guys. Uh, we're over here just knocking out all three branches of the military, their techs. Uh, we're getting everything we need, guys. So yeah, we can go and get the mountain troops, even though we're not going to build those yet. Or we could go and do these two. I think we'll go ahead and work on these next, guys. Maintenance companies and logistics. We'll do the logistics first. Because yeah, we want to put those in our tank units. So yeah, we'll get those knocked out. And, and I'm really surprised and, and, and quite pleased with how quickly we've been flying through that, that tech tree. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and go after the... Oops, not the signal. We'll do the uh, maintenance. Again, not too worried about MPs. We'll do that later. Though, one advantage to getting the MPs is... Hmm. Yeah, I guess we could make sure that we have those for if we fight here in Mexico. We'll do that next, guys. That'll be the next thing we get. Knock out all these support companies that we need. Uh, and then the other thing we need to do here is get those heavy fighters building. Put these guys right underneath those strategic bombers. Not going to be a priority, the, the heavy fighters just yet. Uh, same thing with the strategic bombers. We'll want to get some tactical fight, uh, bombers to help us out in the seas, though. So that will be something we're going to want to get. Just taking a look at how our factories are placed. Yeah, it's the problem is right now is just a lack of, of military factories. Uh, so definitely need to, to prioritize that. Uh, as soon as we get our rubber situation dealt with. We did get the air superiority. Excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and get... I suppose we'll do the, the ground support next. Yeah, we'll do the ground support. Get that knocked down. Alright, so you can see we're, we're getting those ships built. Not as many outdated. Uh, we got uh, a new carrier built. Fantastic. So that does mean that we need to get a new one building. So let's go ahead and do the Roosevelt 2Bs. Get ourselves a second carrier built here. Throw this up at the top. And then we're going to want to make sure that they have the full five dockyards, uh, which we will pull from. See how we want to do this. We'll just pull from these guys. Just so they'll get those those dockyards. It looks like we're still lacking one. There we go. Excellent. Okay. So yeah, the, sh the Navy should be a pretty darn good size with us focusing so heavily on it. Uh, and not only will it be a large Navy, but it should be a superior fleet. Because, uh, you know, the, the AI is not very good at building out their fleets. Uh, we finally got the two Ocean Navy Act. That's going to give us those 10 dockyards. Incredibly helpful. Uh, dockyard, con dockyard construction speed would be nice. Uh, be able to build those convoys is great as well. Yeah, these are all going to help us produce things faster. So we might want to, to prioritize that and get it. But if we have the support here, which we do not. We do not have the support in the house right now. Looks like we're we're just short uh, 13. 13 seats, guys. Well, we don't have that decision anymore, the emergency one. So we'll be able to do that. Uh, but once we build this civilian factory, which I don't know where they're at on it right now. Uh, the 12th of November is when we get that knocked out. And then that will... Generate. I'm already clicking all these buttons. Uh, that will generate 20 representatives. So we'll just wait till that completes uh, in November, rather than spend any more political power on this. Uh, we're almost at 150, so I'd like to be able to spend that uh, on improving our government. So yeah, we'll just have to wait. We'll just have to wait to get the Selective Training Act. It is very important, guys. Uh, but it's not like there's not a ton of stuff for us to get right now. That is also very helpful. Uh, so I think what we're going to do, guys, is this one right here, the Bureau of Ships. I think that's the best one for us to get right now, just because it's going to allow us to produce all sorts of ships faster. Yeah, so we'll do that. Also, it looks like it allows us to train up ships faster as well. All right, so we got the Carrier Primacy. And do we want to go down the next branch here. I feel like having one uh, here is enough. Let's go ahead and get the, the MPs. I'm trying to get all those support companies knocked out before we get to 1939. Because then, of course, that'll lock the next line of uh, support companies. We can modify our government now. And uh, still not able to go down the industrial concern again. Uh, what, what do we need uh, to get that knocked out? That is in this branch here. We still got to get the, the giant wakes, which we need the 30% war support. That's right. So that's going to take some time to get. Uh, sometimes I wonder if this is even worth getting, or, or you could just even change it up uh, and change over to that design company. Might be better to, to do that 
because uh, yeah, we're gonna have all the damn, uh, uh, we're gonna have them all done, uh, all the industrial techs done, uh, because you know we have the 1939 ones about to unlock here, and we still don't have that, and I don't know that we will, uh, because of the uh, the lack of war support, and we don't really have any ability to increase war support right now either. I'm really starting to question whether it's gonna be worth it, man. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and wait until we get the 250 political power to get our theorists, guys, to get Bradley. Uh, we really need to start going down those those land doctrines. Uh, we're in here, here in 1938, and we haven't even started them. Uh, so yeah, we'll wait until we get the 250 political power, guys. I think that's the best way to do it. And that'll also help us get this army experience so we can start making more adjustments to those division designs. All right, so once these troops finish training up here, we'll throw these four onto this line, get us up to 24 divisions on the Mexican front. Remember, those are 40 width divisions, so it's a lot more powerful than it sounds. And this should all be one front, yes. Uh, so yeah, a lot more powerful than it sounds because they're 40 width. Uh, that's basically the equivalent of having you know, like 48 divisions on this front. Uh, so we should be able to very easily push forward against the Metskins. And if we really wanted to knock this out quicker, huh, interesting. We'll take a look at that. It looks like Japan actually won that conflict. Well, if we really want to knock them out quicker, then we could do a historical tactic of just hitting them here uh, and then going straight to Mexico City. Uh, and I think that would be the best way to do that, actually. Knock them out very quickly. Uh, you know, they don't have much of a fleet to stop us from doing that. So that, that would probably be the better way to do this. Just take a few of these divisions off, or, or those four divisions that we're building right now, in fact. Uh, you wouldn't even need that, though, because I think that you should be able to defeat them. Maybe two divisions would all be all that's needed. And then you could do this invasion here. I think we might set that up now, actually, guys. Yeah, we'll just take uh, let's take two divisions and Ready, let's take two from over here, Ready, and then bring them to this port and have them do this naval invasion of Veracruz. All right, make sure they're assigned to that. All right, so they'll at least start planning it. All right, fantastic. And what was we looking at? Yeah, that's right, the war over here. So. Uh, they were able to win. That resulted in them puppeting them. It wasn't quite as distracting as I was hope and was I was hoping, but it does look like it was distracting enough uh, for them to advance a little bit. I was hoping that it would be so distracting that they'd either lose all Korea, all their their mainland uh, territory, or that they would lose in here more, which they did. You know, start to lose here. That you can see that they've got pushed back here and here, but yeah, just not quite as much as I was hoping. Uh, not quite as much of an effect as I was looking for there. But it does look like the communists are gonna win. So that's, that's what's good. And there was a white piece as well. Which is interesting that they white pieced out with them. That's kind of unfortunate because I don't, I think that will result in them going independent now. Oh, and Korea is independent as well. All right, so crazy things happening over here, guys. Uh, so we did lose four senders, but I don't think that'll impact us at all. Uh, we did get the improved infantry equipment one. Uh, let's go and get the support equipment there. And we got that nice 32% bonus, man. That is not bad at all for this point in time. Still waiting to get the 250 political power here. Make sure we don't need to change anything else up. Uh, we could take a look at our planes, see what they're doing over here. Uh, see if we want to add any more. Let's go and take a look, actually. See if we want to uh, add another air wing here you know we could go ahead and do the close air support and then put them at 100 we'll slowly kind of build them out as we construct those and then go ahead and get them training and then i guess we'll do you know what let's go and do a fighter as well i know that these are the old cruddy fighters but they keep their experience regardless and right, we need to change these guys up as well could have just duplicated those ones i suppose that would have been the easier way to do that all right so we just got 25 representatives Fantastic. So we should have a lot of support here uh, now. Let's take a look, but I think we should have very, very good support in Congress. We got 266. Okay, well that's that's enough. That's enough to, to get that focus done, uh, which we're gonna do as soon as we finish with the, the Bureau of Ships. We'll go ahead and get the, oh, we can do the Federal Housing Act now too. That would be nice. Yeah, I'm almost tempted to do that. Uh, but yeah, the, the other option would be the Selective Training Act to give us more manpower. Yeah, I mean, both of these are, are pretty good, are solid. Now, I, yeah, I think this is the end of the line here. We're completely done with this branch once we finish that up, and then we just need to get this one started, and then we'll eventually do this one again. That one's not really a priority at the moment. 
Um, but yeah, that's nice. We should be able to get the focus unless, again, we have a uh, negative event fire. Uh, otherwise, we should be able to get the focus we want. Uh, let's go and get the Air Force Department, and then we'll be done with all those intel upgrades. Uh, elections to Congress. I completely forgot about the congressional election happened here in November 1938, but we ended up uh, benefit benefiting from it. We gained five seats in the Senate and 35 seats in the House, so we have been... Oh, wait a minute. It seems like we lost support here. Yeah, we have less support. Oh, when we took that, that focus, I think. No? Hmm. No, we haven't gotten the focus yet. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Have we lost support? Maybe I, I misread that. Maybe we lost. Uh, representatives, I thought it said we gained them. All right, so Australia seeking independence. Uh, yeah, but that means we're not going to be able to go down here, huh? No, we can. All right, we have 297. Did I just misread that? Oh, now it's 297. Okay. Yeah, wasn't it just like 250 something? I don't know. I don't know what happened there, guys. Uh, but we can do it. That's what's important. So let's go ahead and get the Select Training Act. Eight senators and 40 representatives will go in opposition. I don't know that this requires, but let me just double check. This will uh, require uh, some support, but not much. You just need to have a, uh, you know, 50%, a, a majority. Uh, you don't have to have uh, enough to override uh, a veto. I, I think that's what they're going off of, overriding a veto. They could also be going off of, with the Senate, when they do the, the more senators, they could also be, you know, where you're trying to, to ensure that there's not a filibuster. Uh, but but the fact that they increase it for the House on some of these makes me think that they're, you're trying to override a a presidential veto or something. I don't know what the why they have it so high actually, because we're the we're the leader, right? We're the president, so yeah, I'm not entirely sure why they require you to have so many representatives for some of these decisions. Uh, but yeah, let's go and do the Selective Training Act. Get that knocked out. We'll get some more some more manpower, uh, and that will get rid of the uh, dis disarmed nation. Get us up here to limited conscription. So we'll get quite a bit more manpower. Won't need manpower anytime soon again, actually. That'll be plenty enough manpower for a long time, guys. So yeah, we won't have to mess with manpower laws for a while, so that'll be nice. Uh, looks like we finished construction up of another ship. Uh, so we have some more dockyards to assign. Let's go ahead and we'll make sure that we're, we're building plenty of these, which we are. Do we want to build another carrier? I feel like we should. I think we should build one more carrier, guys. Uh, so let's go and get another carrier going. I think five dockyards for these cruisers is plenty enough, guys. Uh, so let's go and get another Roosevelt. 2B. Give them those full five dockyards. It looks like they're going to be short one. So let's let them pull from the attack cruiser. Yeah. Uh, we are short on steel now. Uh, building all these capital ships are, are going to cause some issues. So we should probably get some, uh, either take those decisions, if we have any that will get us steel, or start building infrastructure up uh, so we can get some steel. Uh, for right now, we'll just trade with whoever has some to trade. Looks like we might have to trade with potential enemies, guys. Yeah, there's there's nobody here other than Chile. And we'll be able to do one without getting ripped off. Uh, we can do Sweden, one with them, one for Korea as well. So that'd be 24, so we need to do one more. Just trying not to trade with potential enemies, but yeah, I don't think it's going to be a avoided, guys. So we'll do Poland here. All right. Also, it seems that we are short on rubber, too. So about to trade with Brazil for one more factory worth of rubber. Uh, we could also have done the decisions. I think we have several that let us get steel. Yeah, we have several here that we could use to get steel, though you have to have construction three. So we won't get any of this. Uh, so in that case, we should just build up infrastructure in any provinces that get us lots of steel. So that one would be an obvious one. Just looking to see where our, our steel provinces are. So yeah, we'll go ahead and build uh, all the way up in Wisconsin, get 21 steel there. That will not be enough. Uh, so we'll have to build in Michigan as well. Build that one all the way up. Uh, Pennsylvania obviously has a lot of steel. And so I think that'll be the third location. And oh, I'm a little bit surprised. I didn't know Nevada had so much steel. Yeah, we'll do Nevada as well. And we'll do Pennsylvania. So that should get us not only enough steel to uh, make it so we don't have to trade anymore now. We shouldn't have to trade anymore in the future for a little while as well. But that's not going to be enough to, to keep us going for the entire campaign, of course. We're going to need a lot more steel than that. Uh, so we'll likely have to uh, build up some of those states that have like lower amounts of steel. And we can now get... 
that theorist. Fantastic. Uh, so let's go and get Bradley. And we can deploy our units as well. Uh, we'll just go and deploy them all. They don't have location yet, so we'll throw them over here in Texas. Let's go and deploy all these guys. And do we want to train anymore? Uh, take a look at the equipment situation. We do have infantry equipment. It's really just shortages here. All right, so let's go ahead and, and get some more units in. Uh, we have some army experience to make adjustments as well. Let's go and start seeing what we can do with these tanks, guys. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do the, uh, the the regular battalions first before we do the support ones. And this is going to be a 40 width. Uh, so what we're going to want to do is, is change up this line here to light tanks. Uh, and then we also have the... Uh, we have the motorized artillery to use, but we're not going to want to use that. We're going to want to use the light self propelled artillery, so we'll add those. Uh, but let's go ahead and get some uh, some motorized infantry. Do quite a few of these here. We might have to do might have to do another line of these. Yeah, we'll have to do another line. Won't have enough otherwise. So get the motorized, and you can see that that's that's all we have. Uh, so we'd have to pull back on. Uh, I guess we'll pull back on a tank for now. So this is all we're able to get with the experience that we have. And this is only 22 combat width, which we're trying to get them up to 40. So a lot of changes need to be made here, guys. Uh, but let's go and save this. And I suppose we can start building some. Maybe just one. Yeah, we can only get one. That's all we have for, for light tanks, unfortunately. So yeah, we'll build one of those up. Uh, as far as uh, infantry, I guess we'll go and get some more big red ones. We could also get some marines, but you know they need some changes. And the problem with building the marines when... You got to make changes to them and add more battalions. Is remember that you're you're limited how many special forces battalions you can have. Uh, so if we if we build them out and then we try and make the changes, then it, it could cause issues. Uh, so we'll just wait uh, before we build those. We don't need them just yet. We're not doing any naval invasions. We'll just get the uh, big red ones. We'll build some more regular infantry divisions. So we'll get we'll just get two more. Yeah, that's fine. All right, good to go. Uh, let's go and get these troops assigned. Uh, so we want to get these four put onto their front, have them continue training there. And then these guys here, they can go into this army and we'll set them up to, to train as well. And I didn't want to see if we were taking attrition here. We are not. All right, excellent. They have some equipment problems, but they're not taking any attrition. Uh, so let's go and move these guys over to here. And then we'll get them assigned. Uh, I don't think we needed to put any more over here, but I think we will. I think we'll put one more Although I think we did the exact number, didn't we? Yeah, we did exactly what we needed. Uh, so let's build one more. I'm going to put him into Puerto Rico. One division might not be enough. All right, so with these guys, let's go and get them moving to their locations. Remember, we're going to the Lion Islands. So there's three of these, and then two of them are going to the Philippines. One up here in the north, and one down here in the south. Now, of course, one... And with uh, divisions not going to be enough to stop uh, invasions of any of these areas. So we would have to increase their numbers here, guys. Yeah, we definitely have to increase those numbers. Uh, we got the infrastructure destruction. Excellent. So we are close enough to 1940 to start working on the 1940 text. Uh, but I really want to get the naval mission efficiency, guys. Uh, so I think we might get that first uh, before we do anything else. Uh, yeah, we're going to do that, guys. Because otherwise, I'm gonna I'm gonna forget to. Uh, so we're gonna grab this, and then we'll stop for a little while on the uh, air doctrines, and get some of the other stuff that we need with the uh, the 1939 text. Went and take a look at our ships. See what we got here. Uh, gonna put these guys in the training fleet, and I'm pretty sure that carrier's probably done. Yes, sir. Go and move them over here. All right, so we're almost into 1939. We got the logistic company one. Uh, so we are done here for now. Uh, obviously, we got the 1939s, uh, but there's there's other stuff I'd rather get right now. Let me see what we wanted to, to do first, though. Uh, of course, could do the better radar for our ships. That's right. We want to do this so we can stop trading for, for so much rubber. And it, it won't take very long to get that done either. Now, we haven't built any of these just yet. Still working on those military factories. Uh, we did get the submarine operations. And I think we're... I think we're going to continue going down that, guys. Yeah, let's go and continue going down the Naval Doctrines. Uh, we'll go after the Carrier Task Force. And do we want to spend the experience to knock this out quicker? Yeah, I don't see why not, guys. Uh, we got a lot of it up there. 
we don't need that much for designing ships until you know 1940 so yeah we'll, we're going to get that looks like we're not getting all our rubber from brazil unfortunately uh, they just don't have enough here for us so we're going to be a little bit short again we could always trade with potential enemies here and yeah, we'd have to there's nobody else to trade with if we want to make sure we're not having any shortages uh, I don't know how much that's in, impacting us. I suppose we can take a look real quick, see which... I mean, it's just going to impact the carrier planes. You know what? We're not going to trade for that. It's fine. All right, so we got the maintenance companies. Uh, let's go ahead and find a 1939 tech. Uh, probably the artillery is what I'm thinking. We could also do with the medium tanks, get those. Uh, frankly, our production right now is a serious issue, though. Uh, so I'm, I'm hesitant to, to do that because yeah, we just aren't building enough stuff as it is. So I think we're going to wait to get the medium tanks. I and mean, we can't even get light tanks right now because of uh, production issues. We need more military factories, frankly, guys, uh, to, to get all these resource situations uh, dealt with. All right, so we got the Air Force Department. Uh, let's go ahead and go after the passive defense next. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to want to do here. Yeah, let's go after the passive defense. Get those knocked out. And 92 days to get this decrypted. Uh, also, you'll notice that we now have to decrypt more for the British uh, simply because they they obviously upgraded their their uh, decryption, or excuse me, their encrypting. And our agent was captured. Oh no. So it's Kate Price, who was captured in Mexico. That does mean that we're going to have to, we got to get her back, man. Can't leave her in a, a Mexican prison. We got to get her. Uh, so we're going to send our, uh, our, are they both named Kate? Oh yeah. They're both named Kate. We should probably go with their code names anyway. We don't want anybody to know who they are. So Wolf and Sparrow. So we're going to have Wolf uh, help Sparrow out. I, I don't know if that's that's wise to send a wolf to help a bird, but let's see. Where is it? Somewhere. Where the hell is this mission? I must be passing it. Here we go. All right, so let's go ahead and send Wolf to get Sparrow. Commence it when ready. 35 days to get that knocked out. It does mean that we will no longer be getting intel on Germany, or Mexico for that matter. That's fine, I suppose. They haven't nationalized, they're doing it now. Here we go. They're nationalizing the oil fields. Uh, so when they do that, that will give us the war goal to declare war. Uh, well, I think it's a war goal. It might be a claim, and then you'll be able to use the claim to get the war goal. Uh, but yeah, that'll allow us to declare war on the Mexicans. Uh, we have our 24 divisions. Uh, obviously, the equipment is not quite there. We could always stop training these. We would no longer get the army experience, but with our equipment issues, maybe we should stop training uh, just to try and get the equipment issues dealt with. Obviously, we need the army experience, but uh, I, I think we're going to wait, guys. Let's get these equipment issues dealt with uh, before we continue training because, you know, what's the point of being able to change a bunch of division designs out if, if you don't even have the equipment to build them? Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just wait to, to train those guys any further. All right, so we're almost done with today's episode. Uh, we did get some dockyards. So we got the battleship built. And I'm going to set these to only build one, guys. Yeah, we only want to build one of these at a time. Let me make sure we have both of these guys set up. So yeah, let's go and get another battleship then. This will be the Ironsides. The second variant of it. Give them those five dockyards and only build one of those. And we do want these to all go to San Diego. All right. Excellent. All right, good to go. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, I guess we'll let it play just a little bit more, try and get to February here, and then we'll be ending the episode. And again, I do expect the, the war with Mexico to start next episode. We'll knock out uh, what should what should be a quick and easy war against them. Uh, we got the military police. We can go and add those to our division designs. Of course, we don't have the army experience for that. Uh, so let's go ahead and get something here. It could do the 1939 infantry equipment. Uh, let's go ahead and do the superior firepower. I said I was going to start doing this. Let's get it knocked out. We'll do the delay and get some organization for our leg infantry. Well, we did get another tech knocked out. All right. Um, I, I want to do the industrial techs. Yeah, I feel like we're we're just not going to be able to wait on this, guys. Yeah, uh, I just don't see how we'll we'll be able to wait for that uh, one focus. You know, to be able to get the the, the bonus for these. Uh, of course, we could just fill it out, uh, but yeah, I, I just feel like um, it, it's just not worth it waiting. So uh, we could just knock out a few of them, I suppose. Some of the more important ones, like the Disperse Industry 3. Yeah, I think we'll at least knock out that one. 
Uh, but yeah, it would be really nice to get that 15% research bonus for those. But yeah, I, I don't know when we're going to get that, man. Because, uh, you know, the, the war support... I mean, I guess we'd get the war support when we went to war at Mexico. And it's actually, with the selective training, we just got war support. We're at 18% now. All right. Well, that's, of course, not high enough uh, to get the giant wakes. But it's, you know, halfway there, over halfway there. All right, so that's nice. I think we're going to do the federal housing next. Uh, of course, there's nice bonuses here, but none of them are going to be as helpful as this focus here, because uh, that does get rid of the uh, the slow economic growth. Of course, we will lose some support in Congress, and also we get some more building slots. Not that that's exactly necessary right now, uh, but yeah, this is uh, uh, we got rid of that that slow, we're, we'll get rid of that slow economic growth, and that is where is that home of the free. There it is right there. Uh, so you were losing uh, political power every day. Uh, the resources, we're not getting as many of those. Uh, of course, less population. And the most important one here, the consumer goods factories, I'd say is probably one of the most important ones for us uh, that we're you know, having to use almost all of our civilian factories uh, to build consumer goods. So that's what's hitting us the hardest there. So that'll be super helpful getting rid of that. We do have some free dockyards. Did we finish building something else? We did. Uh, so we got that battleship, we got that light cruiser. Let's go ahead and throw those into here. And then we'll take a look at where we want to assign these four dockyards that we have. We could do one more battleship here. Might be a possibility. Try and get a battleship done. Yeah, I think we might just wait. Yeah, I think we're going to wait, guys. Uh, we'll get the 1940 battleships. The battleships that we have here aren't even that great. So, yeah, we'll just do the, the one. That's fine. We'll focus on getting ourselves uh, more uh, cruisers and, and submarines and all that kind of good stuff instead. Uh, we probably should get some more convoys, too. You know, we're going to need a lot of those, especially for, like, the naval invasions. Uh, so let's do more destroyers since we only have one line of those. And that'll be all, guys. Uh, so we no longer need to trade for as much chromium. Uh, we do still need to get the rubber, but again, that's only really affecting the carrier plane, so I'm not too worried about it, guys. I did finish this destroyer. We'll throw him in there, get him trained up. And we did lose four senders as well. All right, so again, these guys will be done with this here next episode, that nationalize on the oil fields. And we are actually done with this episode. So uh, what are we having problems with? Steel from Poland. All right, that's a shame. I'll have to pull that back. And we'll have to find somebody else to trade with. We'll likely have to give it to an enemy. Uh, but let's make sure we're giving it to... You know what? Actually, let's give it to the, the fascist Japan. <laughs> we'll give it to them. Uh, how's this uh, war going? It doesn't look like it's moved. Actually, it has moved a lot. They're, they're losing territory. They were up to here, and now they've been pushed back some. So they're actually losing territory right now. All right, so that is going to be the end of today's episode. Uh, hopefully should have a war next episode, a small one against Mexico, which could very well end up becoming a larger conflict if they were to join the Allies. So it's not impossible that we could find ourselves in World War II uh, next episode, guys. I definitely think it's a, a real possibility here. Uh, you have seen that they are releasing all these, these countries here, uh, especially here in Africa. Uh, those are still part of the Allies, but I think they might end up leaving uh, the Allies. Uh, but yeah, they, they are currently in the Allies as of right now. So if we did find ourselves at war with the Allies, we'd also be at war with everybody else. And there would that would be a problem, guys. If Mexico joined the Allies, we'd be in a really bad position because that would result in the Canadians joining the conflict. Uh, and then they'd be able to invade us here in our undefended border on the north. Uh, so definitely risky. We'd have to get the war knocked out and, you know super quickly. Uh, we could actually send some of these up to the north. To ensure that uh, if the Mexicans do join the Allies and we do find ourselves at war with them, then you know we don't lose all of our territory up here. Uh, it might be the best thing to do. I think that this would be very a very quick war against Mexico, uh, but it wouldn't be quick enough uh, for us to then get all the troops up here. So maybe we want to move a few of these, not have so many up here, and move them up here onto the uh, the border with the, the Canadians. Uh, maybe not over here, obviously can't defend the entire border, uh, but specifically defending the northeast where all of our victory points are and all of our factories and dockyards and stuff and resources. Uh, so yeah, I might just want to put just a few divisions up along here just to stop them. Uh, so, because it's a possibility, guys. It's definitely a possibility that the, the Mexicans could join the Allies. Uh, but yeah, that's actually going to be the end of today's episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode, and thanks for watching.